So, um, yeah, in the middle of this battle, welcome back to Pokemon Sun. Uh, this game's crazy. That's a Sandshrew? That's a normal Sandshrew. Okay, I would say if it was, if it was the Ice-type Sandshrew, I could just Flash Cannon it and call it a day. But now I have to switch out, because it can... It could go for, like, a Mud Slap. <sighs> and knock out Magneton. So I think I'll go, uh, ooh, I have, like, nothing. I have Pickle! I have Pickle! Oh, man. Let me see if I can, uh, went for Sandstorm. Huh, weird. See if I can move all this up here. And then maybe I can... Ah! So I'm doing a little bit of... Some moving stuff around. Ah! 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 I'm trying to get comfortable playing this game for so long. Okay, hold on. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, yes! This is so much better! Ah! Oh, so happy now. Okay. This is so much more comfortable. Oh my god. Yo, it's Beak Gets Red when he uses Boltsy. That's awesome. Because, like, when it heats up with Beak Blast, it, um. Oh, it's got Gyro Ball. Wait, could Sanshu learn Gyro Ball before? I have no idea. But yeah, like, when, when a Pickle uses Beak Blast, it's like, oh, if they touch you, they get burned because the, the Beak heats up. And now it's like Bolt Seed, its Beak heats up and changes colors. That's awesome. It's so cool. It would have been cool if it was like a flying steel. That would have been even better. Instead of flying normal. Or flying... Well, flying fire would be silly, but flying steel I could see. It was like, oh, it's like a machine, like friction. It gets it gets hot. This is a Lolan Geo, dude. We might have a problem. I'll go into Lolmac just in case. Uh, brick break. I probably should have gone for uh, crab hammer. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter. It lived on it. See, it didn't have sturdy. It just lived on one, but it's gonna knock itself out. So it's all good. It's all good, y'all. Am I pretty? Am I pretty? Graveler. I will stay in. We'll go for a crap hammer. Oh no! Oh no! 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 That sucks. That sucks. Oh well. Hey, Fairy leveled up, so that's uh, may, everyone leveled up in in the face of of a uh, of little Max sacrifice. Let's go to Mud Bay. Mud and mud and mud bay. Volpix. That was a good switching on my part. In prison. Well, good. Uh, I'm glad we could still use high horsepower. That would have been weird if they had imprisoned it. Imprison, imprison is a fun move. I like it. So we'll go ahead. We'll heal up. We'll revive our, our crib brawler. Heal and heal you. Level forty seven. That's a hole. That's a big hole. I want that, that item or that TM. I'm about to use a repel, honestly. I'm just getting sick of it. 
Wait a second! I'm trying to make progress in this game, and there's so many, so many wild Pokemon that I don't even want to battle. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and we'll do a few things. Put you up front. And then we'll use a repel. I don't have that many left. Oh no. Have to get some more. Frost Breath. Okay. It's interesting. Probably won't use it, but hey, you know what? It's an ice type move that always critical hits. 40 base power. Something over here. Aha! That's 26, right? I think so. I think we have to go in that cave over there. Nothing over here? Okay. Let's see what's in here. Whoa, Ruins of Hope. Tapu Fini. There's another Zygarde right there. The ruins of hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. Maybe I should just sit up. Because then I'll be closer to the microphone. But still. But if we go in there, maybe Nebby will return to normal. People believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Top of Finney, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. That sounds promising. That's what it does, Felix. I'm going to give it my all so we can return Nebby back to normal. I'm a horse. Also, how did the... How did the Machamp thing help us? Oh, maybe it's in there. Maybe it's in there. We're actually going to go on one of these for once. Aha, yeah. Yeah, there we go. If we're going to break a path, we'll need to move these huge rocks. Is that what Hoppy's grandmother said, isn't it? Did she really just try to move it? Are you serious? Like, get out of here. I'll have to borrow my champ's formidable strength for this task. Oh, you big boy. I remember I read about it in a book once. If I remember right, it said, when getting a ride from a powerful champ, trainers can activate the ch champ's shove by standing before a rock and pressing B. What, is he going to mash us into the rock? Like, what is the point? Like, literally, he's, like, shoving us around. Can I pull, too? I guess not. I just gotta... Why does this take so long? I shove you? Ah, nope, nope. So wow, she must be heavier than the boulders. Oh, sorry, Lily, that was rude. Drop that block. Drop that block. Oh, here we go. Time to battle. I've read about them, you know. A little sacred ruins, and the guardian deities worshipped within them. They go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them, according to the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. The book says that they are, well, capricious. Encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nebi. Oh, there's Hapu. Hapu, Hapu... Hapu, more like Tapu. No? Okay. Whoa, what's going on there? Wow. Whoa. 
Oh, ooh la la, what is that? I give my thanks for your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people and for the Pokemon of Alola. So she just became the Kahuna. That's what happened. Oh, so you two were watching? The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island each guardian watches over. Lily told me that you're pretty new to our parts there, Felix. You came from you came to Alola from far off. You must really be something then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Taku, even as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather, my grandfather was also chosen for this honor, the honor of being our island's kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we were left without a kahuna on pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the Taku back then. So I set on my own sort of island challenge, traveling alone and trying to grow stronger. Lily. Okay, who do you wish to meet is right here. Oh, of course. And please, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about Solgaleo, who we pay tribute to at, to at the altar of the sun. My mother disappeared into the beast world. I know that she was a terrible person, but she is still my mother. I need to see her again to tell her something. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. The world of the beast, eh? Is that what that thing was that came to Pony Island, a beast? Top of Finney and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We did not stand a chance. All right, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much, just that there is a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the moon flute. It seems that my mother had it. Where did you pull that from, huh? Oh, that, oh, that looks to be the flute that used to reside at the... Oh, yeah, that's right. No, Gladion gave it to her. Okay. Reside at the Lake on Ulula. The other is said to be held on Exegator Island. I do not know why they're all the places, but it has been passed down that... that. I do not know why they're there of all places, but it has been passed down that that's where it belongs. Exegator Island? I think I've read about it before. It's an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony, isn't it? Isn't that right? Yes, and no reason to dally here. Let us go speak with the Sea Folk Chief. Lily, you take Mudsdale. We proceed to Sea Folk Village. Ugh. All this talking is hard. Very hard. Reach down and touch the statue. There's no reaction from the statue. I am not a Kahuna. How do I get out of here? This place is cool. It's got like lily pads and stuff. It's awesome. Go to the Charizard Glide. Go to the Charizard Glide. Back to Seafolk Village. Now what? Oh, okay. There we go. Cut scene, of course. Thank you, Hapu, and thank you, Mudsdale. That's what friends do. Friends? An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend? Thank you, Hapu. I will not give up no matter what. Give up what? You don't do anything. The journey to Executor Island, you should speak with the chief of the sea folk. I shall be wishing for your safety. Meanwhile, I'll be chilling here with my horse. <clears throat> so, can we battle her to get another gem? Is that cool? Can we do that, please? Can we please do that, please? What is this? Is this a restaurant? Bruh. Two by four, yeah, sure. Is 
Zumongus Z noodles. Nest, nest of the Tubby Tapu. Soigne, if you please. I don't know what that means. We've got life in the dining room. VIP coming through. Fresh out of the kitchen. This is hot, so watch your hands. What, what, what are we doing? What's happening? What? What is happening? Oh, I was like, what was the point of that? So wait, now you can buy heart scales? That's awesome. That's pretty awesome. Gonna go down here and talk to the dude right now. Gonna take us to the place we need to go. Mr. Mustache. It's like Fat Aragorn. Yes, and Hoppa was made the new kahuna. Oh, -ho. that's a joy to my ears. Her old grandfather must be smiling down on us. Yes, Hoppa will do her best for her late grandfather, as I must do my best for my mother's sake, and for Nebby as well. And so, there's a place we need to go. Oh, take it to Rylan. Oh, you mean where the flute is? Well, you two did meet the kahuna already. And Pony's captain ain't around anyways, so I guess there's no point in waiting on any trials. All right. The SS Magikarp will have you there, and I'll, and you'll think you're sailing in a dream. That's a fun little boat. Yo, so, so somebody make that boat real quick. Get to make that boat real quick and, and send it to my house at uh, uh, 8834 uh, Not A Real Street Lane, Walla Walla, Washington. Uh... Po postage free, please. I don't. I don't want to have to pay for postage. I heard. Th I heard that this place used to be a trial site, though. That was a long time ago. Now, yo, are we getting an executor? We better get an executor, y'all. I. I really would love that. Is that an executor right there? That tree? Is that what that is? Watch that tree be an executor. I feel like trainers can open up the door to any future as long as they have their Pokemon. This is what it looks like to me when I see you, Felix. And Hapu and Hao, too. It's an executor. I called it! Ah! What is that, Felix? Your destiny. I called it. Yo. I was wondering when we get to see it. Look how tall that thing is. So it's Grass Dragon. I'm, I'm catching it. Grass Dragon. Okay. Wood Hammer. Oh, good thing I switched out. Oh my god, look at that animation. That's wild. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and discharge it. Try and paralyze it, get some damage. It's got side shot. We'll keep on discharging. Why is it not getting paralyzed? Egg bomb. Alright, please get paralyzed. I, I mean, I could just thunder wave you, but I'm just trying to get paralyze you as I'm damaging you. I'm trying to save a turn. 
Ooh, oh, that's a crit. Nope, that just does a lot of damage. Okay, fine. Let's go with Herbert. It's like, it's funny, it's a grass dragon, but it still has Psy Shock. It's weird. Let's throw a ball. Ultra Ball, go! Bloop. Bloop. Oh, come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball tree. Oh, critical capture. Woo! Mud Bay. Earthquake, finally. Yo, Stomp is stupid. Let's give it a Stomp. I like high horsepower. But, but you know, we got all kinds of moves now. So, that does confirm that Mud, Mud, Mudsdale gets Earthquake. So, the thing I want to do with a Rangaroo is possible. Oh, no, I didn't read it. Um... Um... I'm gonna call you... Necktie. What is it? I, no, no, I shouldn't. I mean, it'd be good. But who do I replace? And it's level 40. I don't want to level anyone up. It's like I've had everyone for so long, I don't want to replace them all of a sudden. What are you giggling about? What are you giggling about? Go ahead and... Revive. All right, we are good to go. Everyone's level 47. Oh my god. 46 and 47. What else is here? Stupid Pelipper. Not interested, buddy. A Lolan Pelipper gets Drizzle. <laughs> it's not really like a Lolan form, but it is a Lolan, so. A Lolan Pelipper gets Drizzle. I'm surprised it lived that. Oh my god. Okay, well, we'll just poison jab it. Call it a day. I mean, okay, plus one. You're still not gonna live it, though. Like, right? Hopefully not. Okay, good. I don't feel like dealing with that. Where's my map? Rotom, go away! I want my map back. Stop. stop. Rotom, just stop. Please. I want to see the map. Thank you. This camera angle close up is very weird. I don't like it. Alright, so we're going over here. I guess there's nothing over there. I thought maybe there'd be an item or something. <sighs> With the cutscenes! Drizzle! Oh, it started to rain! But what now? Going in a cave and it's raining. That you know that's what they, that's what they did in the Hobbit, and then they got attacked by goblins. So I, I don't think that's a good idea. My skirt got a bit wet. 
looking out at the rain like this reminds me of this one time when I was little at band camp. I'd seen it in a movie. This man singing and dancing in the rain it captivated me so much that I had to try it for myself. My mother spotted me out in the rain, and she was so shocked that she ran out right after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled, and she danced with me in the rain. In the rain, of course, we both ended up catching colds. And then, that, and there was also that one time where she opened a rift in space time and brought monsters to this this world, and then jumped in the wormhole and went away and told me she didn't love me and my brother. But I was so happy that I kept her waking her again and again, and just to be sure it wasn't a dream. Then she changed. And Null and Nebby, they both ended up suffering so much I couldn't do anything. But you know, Felix, whenever I feel like there's nothing I can do, you seem to show up and, and you do something. Every time you've shown me that it's possible to do something. Even the first time we met, Nebby was being attacked and all I could do was look on in horror. And at Aether Paradise, all I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. With your dumb haircut and your stupid hat. I'm Felix. What are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? I don't know. Oh, thank goodness. It's such a relief to know that even someone like you feels unsure, unsure at times. I think I'd like to become a trainer too and travel together with you, Felix. Um, okay. I don't really care. Like, at all. Cool. What are you smiling at? Oh, very romantic. Ooh, la la. Maybe they really are good omens sometimes, wouldn't you say? No. That looks honestly dangerous, like things are falling from the sky and we should all run in terror. So, do we go in the cave or, or no? What's back here? Ooh. Prism scale! Yo, you got that Milotic. Yeah, you get your, uh, your feed bass and your, Milo and your prism scale, and then you get yourself a Milotic. What's up here? Anything up here, or am I just wasting time? What's in the cave, though? Felix, a flute is placed on a very old pedestal. Will you take the flute? Yeah, I want that flute. Like they just leave it out in the open like that. I'm not even covered from the rain and the wind or anything. It's just there. I don't know if it will really summon the legendary Pokemon, but we have to try. If nothing else, we'll, we'll have sound the flutes and offering like people used to do. So thank you for coming this far with me. Let's go meet the chief of the Sea Poke and get back to Pony Island. But do I get to go in the cave? Should have gone in the cave. Should have gone in the daggone cave. The altar lies all the way through the vast Pony Canyon. It's a long road there. The path is like nature's own trial. Good luck to you, friends. And why don't you stop by and tell Hapu that you're off before you go? Pelipper. Pony Canyon. Okay, uh, Rotom. Let's go. So we need to go where we need to go? Over here, I guess? Not there. Alright, well, I think that's gonna be it today, guys, for the Pokemon... Ah! Pokemon Sun playthrough i hope you liked it if you did feel free to like comment share subscribe all that fun stuff and hopefully i'll see you back for some more of pokemon sun